Here we are at Lisa's Community College in Housewin. Now we'll take a look at one of our assemblies. This week's thought is to do with international cooperation and peace. The assembly was about remembrance, to remember the people who died for us in the wars. It was all about um, remembrance Sunday and remembering what the soldiers did for us. World War I came to an end on the 11th of November 1918. It was at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th I learned that, that people died for us and fought for our freedom and that we should have respect that and learn a bit more about it. I learned that we should think about other people that helped us live and keep a better world. In one battle alone, the British Army lost 60,000 men on the first day of the battle. Assemblies play an important role uh, here at LISOs. Um, it provides the opportunity for that reflection. It provides the opportunity for uh, that collective worship that, that can happen. Um, it provides the opportunity for them all to get together as a year group and it help, helps a whole celebration of achievement, which is something that we're you know, very much into, is celebrating the successes of those students. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow, between the crosses, row on row. Assemblies are important because we're not just like in one, like one form, but we're all together in the year group so we can learn together. I enjoy assemblies because you can learn about different things and you hear all staff notices at once and you can share your achievements with everyone. These assemblies are important because it's good to learn from the past so we don't make mistakes in the future. That marks our place and in the sky, the arcs still bravely singing fly. It's different because in the classroom you can participate all the time but only chosen people get to participate in assemblies. Because the whole school's together and um, everyone learns the same thing and you can share other people's achievements. I like it because it's a time where we're all together, not just as individuals where we get like put into a top, middle and bottom, we're all together, so we're all equal in assemblies. In 1914, a truce was held between the two enemies of the world. I enjoyed it because I felt I gained some confidence because I didn't think that I was going to do very well because I would be nervous. But when the actual thing came, I wasn't that nervous and I did well. Soldiers got out of their trenches and started shaking hands and wishing everyone a happy Christmas. The process in developing an assembly starts with looking at what the thought for the day is and the thought for the week is. Um, each week there's a, a, there's a separate thought for every day of that week based on a certain theme like this week's is um, international cooperation and peace. This morning we had to come to school early and rehearse and make sure we knew what we were going to say and when we were going to say it. We had to get in early on the morning and we had to rehearse and make sure our voices were loud enough to hear at the back of the room. Some of the things they can do when they're researching their assemblies are uh, using the internet. Um, on the actual teacher net, um, there is an assemblies website. You can go through and all the links and different people have put their assemblies on there that you can, you can take off and use in different ways. The Poppy Appeal and the British Legion were founded in 1921 by Earl Haig. The pupils taking part, the main thing they gain, I think, is a lot of self-confidence and respect. I gained some respect off my friends because they had to go up in front of everyone and speak. Well, I felt that I gained a lot of confidence because I, I had to learn to project my voice and speak in front of lots of people. And I felt that I gained respect off the others and res some self-respect as well. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw, the torch be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields.